What up, everybody? Big D coming at you with another mail day. Boy, we got a lot of mail to go over today, so let's get started. But before we get started, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on the gram at 505 underscore memorabilia. Links to everything me will be down in the description below. Uh, also, if this is your first time checking me out, well, welcome. Thank you so much. Fridays, I do mail days. Uh, I kind of show what I've been picking up, what I've been investing my money in, and break reveals from breaks that I've been in the last 7 to 10 days. Also, make sure you go show all the breakers I feature here today some love. If you uh not subscribed to their channel, uh, please go give them a subscribe. Go follow their content. They do fantastic work. And your uh, support does go a long way in making sure that uh, the hobby continues to grow. And so I am excited about that. Uh, so go give them some love. You don't have to go buy into breaks like some of us do, but come hang out in the chat with us. We have a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, go give them some support and some love. So let's, uh, well, let's get started. What do we got coming up first? Let's start off with a break. Uh, let's go with KC Card Connection. Uh, I was in, this was a uh, case of Logo Fractor. All uh, right, and of course, I got far more uh, <laughs> sleeves than I could ever imagine. Although, with so way some of these people package up and mail their stuff out, uh, I probably should send those to them. Uh, on it. Now, I didn't really get a whole lot. I got the Braves in the break. Um, and I not a whole lot to say for it. Yeah, here are the, the logo fractors I hit. Three out of an entire case of Braves. Kind of uh, disappointing on that. But there you go. <clears throat> uh, we did get a sympathy pack. I don't think I got enough sympathy packs to justify... Uh, the streak continuing or not, but we'll find out. We will find out. All right. This is Series 1 out there. Um, let's see. Cowser, rookie on that. Moreno. Boo! Judge. Uh, and Acuna. Yeah, I only got two sympathy packs, and you guys have made it clear that three counts. Anything less than three doesn't. So, yeah, kind of an uneventful break for me uh, on this end here. You know, I, I was really hoping, especially getting the Braves, pull an Acuna, an auto out there, but unfortunately just didn't work my way on that one. So, all right, on to the next. All right, next up, we got from this, that handsome debonair man himself, JTS, uh, was in a few breaks uh, out there. Uh, one was a serial numbered, one was a serial number break, and one was a team break, uh, the... Or they all were. I don't. Honestly, I don't remember. I bought quite a few spots in a couple different breaks. But let's see here what we got. Uh, Dodgers cards here. Hey, we'll take a Yamamoto. Hey, a twenty dollar Otani. We'll take that all day. Uh, nice Otani on the logo fractor. Another Otani there. Uh, the Strokes. Uh, Mookie. Got some. Uh, uh, Bobby, we'll take Bobby's all day. Lofton, um, Matsui, Jackson Merrill, we'll take a Merrill on the on the uh, Mojo, Tatis on the Mojo. Oh, what a nice look at that numbered Mojo. That looks really good. That looks really centered. Looks good. We may have to send. We may have to send that one off to get graded. That one may have to go up to the up, upgrade shop. House on my first Bowman, and that's it. Uh, and uh, I also won a race here for an Adam S. Um, 
Go support Adam S. For sure. Uh, one of his mystery packs. And then that mystery pack. We got a Bobby Witt rookie refractor from uh, Platinum Anniversary. And that looks really centered too. Ooh. Man, we may That one's going to probably have to go to the upgrade shop as well. And overall, not a bad break. You know, that $20 Otani kind of saved everything uh, for me on that. So, uh, for sure, we'll definitely have to check that one out there. But I think I, I you know what? I, I may have enough to get one more Chrome submission over to SGC as part of its uh, $12 Chrome special. I may have enough to justify sending some, some more out over there. So, we'll see. We'll have to check that one out. All right, let's get on to the next. Some of my pickups, uh, you know, I always look at kind of some of the uh, newer vintage there from the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, if I can find them and they look good and, uh, you know, maybe have some potential for getting upgraded there. We got Ricky Henderson here on the, eight, yeah, that's the 83 tops. It's a little bit off center, but the corners look really good. You know, if I think that these can pull an 8 or higher, I, I usually will pull the trigger depending on how the photo looks. You know, um, you know, centering seems to be the big issue on that one. And that's got some potential, so we'll check that one out. Uh, again, here we have uh, 82 Ricky Henderson. This one looks way better on the centering. Corners look good. Uh, back looks good. Uh, we got to check out the surface on on this because these do tend to have some surface issues and fading issues. This looks really good. So that, again, major potential on that one. And then I got here three, uh, what are these, 82 uh, George Bretts. Um, you know, again, they all looked pretty good. You know, this one definitely far off center. That one better. This one even better, uh, but they were cheap enough that I was like, yeah, might as well. It's worth the shot to to grab one, and of course, eighty two, uh, yeah, eighty two Pete Rose, R I P, and this one looks really good too. So I got some potential here to send off to the upgrade shop on those. Uh, you know, the price was run. The price is right on them, and you can grab them, and they look good in the photo, and they look just as good in the picture. Yeah, man, you, you know, you gotta, you gotta kind of go off and grab it. So, some potential for some upgrades there. All right, let's get on to the next. The goat. Next, uh, RGL. Uh, so I got into a uh, break with Cosmic. And five star. Uh, the Cosmic, not to, you know, the Braves. And I uh, did not really do well in that break. Uh, nice strider. Uh, but it is so off-centered on the Nucleus. Man, shame. Shame on that. Matt, uh, Matt Olson autograph again. Centering seems to be the issue. But I may roll the dice and get that slabbed up anyway. It, it is close enough that... I think that even at the nine, it may be worth it, especially at the twelve dollar mark. So again, I, we're we're kind of also going through uh, Chrome cards here that have some potential for the upgrades. So that one it, it is definitely worth it. Then we got five star, and I kind of hit in the five star here. Uh, Smith Shaver Auto and a Spencer Strider Auto. Can't complain on either one of those. Uh, Strider, stud, if he can come back from that injury. And uh, Smith Shaver uh, definitely uh, showed some signs of brilliance this year. So, uh, you know, uh, a busted break actually came out to be kind of good. So, uh, not bad. Not bad. All right, let's get off to our next one. All right, some more pickups I got going that I just saw that were cheap. And thought there may be some potential. Short print of Aaron Judge. Again, his stuff is hot. It sells. Although, uh, centering seems to be an issue on this one. It didn't look that bad in the photo. But now when you actually get it and you see. So, eh. Uh, Blackman Sapphire to 50. Uh, good looking card. Uh, looks good. Looks really centered. Again, upgrade potential. 
uh, Soto uh, on the uh, silver foil board. Uh, again, another card. Looks really good. Uh, looks centered. Soto stuff's hot. So we got some potential at a future upgrade on that one. And then two Bo Jackson tops golds on there. Um, this one looks far, looks good. This one, a little heavy on the, this side. So I have to inspect that one a little bit more. Uh, but on this side, this one looks good. Some potential. Again, we're not sending them all off at once to make that mistake again. So while... Uh, We'll have to see. There's some potential here, but I don't know. We'll we'll have to wait and find out. So, all right, let's get off to our next one. All right, next we got from Blackbeard BB. Uh, one break with BB. This was a 2020 uh, set. Uh, random teams, and I got the Colts. Um, really, the only hit was uh, this uh, the uh red hyper or red prism from optic jonathan taylor rookie good looking card it looks good it is a little off centered so probably just uh a cell candidate on that and the rest and nothing really to write home about on that however i was uh in a give i also got was part of the giveaway where i won an autographed jersey here of Number 84 for the Packers. Do you know who 84 at the Packers is? I didn't. I forgot he even played for them. Uh, good looking, though. Andre Risen. <laughs> I forgot he even played for him. Uh, but cool, cool uniform. And, you know, nice autograph on that. Uh, as a Bears fan, though, I cannot allow this to be in my house. So, uh uh, I think uh, probably uh, run a giveaway at some point and give this away, uh, but pretty cool. <coughs> so thank you, BB, uh, on that one. And, you know, uh, that, not all breaks can be winners on that, but we'll definitely take the jersey as a consolation prize. All right, what do we got next? Some other pickups that I got here. Uh, some of these Topps composite cards to 25, like... I picked these up like stupid cheap just because they were cheap. And I'm like, why Why are these so cheap? Uh, you know, I get it. And I thought, let's see if any of them have upgrade potential to them. And uh, that one, and centering's an issue on that McNabb. Uh, oh, yeah, Groot here. Uh, nice Groot, not numbered, yellow rainbow. Uh, his stuff sells very well, and the card looks great and centered. So some... Upgrade potential there with Groot. Uh, Rip Hamilton to 25. That card looks really good. Uh, it is a little heavy up top. Uh, but I think think I may may chance that one and send that one off for the upgrade shop. Got another McNabb. This one is perfectly centered. So this one I think will go to the upgrade shop. I mean, if you're a Eagles fan, Donovan McNabb is a legend. Why wouldn't you want one of those cards, you know, his card low numbered, slabbed up? Uh, again, another one here, Ray Lewis. <laughs> Why not? Dude's a beast. Good looking card. I love Topps Black. So another one looking at sending the upgrade. And then we got here uh, Ghost Rider on the Flare Ultra Midnight. Ah. Uh, this card is awesome. I didn't realize that the card was this thick. Like, I'm like, wow, that's a thick card. Uh, but again, price is right, and uh, Ghost Rider sells very well, especially graded. So I thought it was worth taking the shot to grab this one, and it looks pretty good. So, and again, got a lot of stuff because the post office finally did their job and delivered stuff. So quite a bit. All right, we're coming to the end here, so up next. All right, next we got the old Dustman himself, Hitman Rips. Uh, was in a uh, cosmic break, and I pulled the Rockies. Yay, I got no cards. This is, this is what I got, sympathy pack. <laughs> uh, 
So, uh, I don't think there's probably a whole lot. This is the last sympathy, but we only got two. So, and you guys said three is the, three is, three counts towards the streak. Less than three does not. So, let's see if we, uh, we got anything worthwhile in here. I don't think so. Yeah, nothing. All right, well, there you go. You seen it, nothing. All right. And next, uh, I got a redemption in from Tops. Um, so I hit in a, I hit in a uh, Philly Whiz Kids break. I hit an Aiden Miller auto. And this here it is. That uh, came in numbered to 99. Good looking card. Uh, is a little heavy on this side. So I don't know about upgrade on this one. Uh, but, you know, he is the Phillies top prospect. So, uh, you know, and at least it's not uh, AM. At least there's just something scribbled on there. So, I don't know. I got to think about this one. I may just sell it outright, but we'll see. We'll see. I got to look at it a little deeper. All right, we got one more break left, and we'll call it a uh, we'll call it a video. All right, be right back. All right, and we end with the baby goat, JML the llama. Uh, so I got into a break with Bowman, Sterling, Tops, uh, Sapphire, and Tops logo fractor. Um, and I got the Dodgers. Uh, and uh, I gotta say, yeah. Uh, nice Yamamoto base, Kershaw, nice Yamamoto, Dustin May, but in Logo Fractor, and nice Yamamoto, and oh, Yamamoto, blue to 150. Now, it is a bit little uh, right to left off center, but I think I'm going to chance it and send this in for to the upgrade shop. Uh, I just, something, something just tells me it'll look, I mean, if it looks good in a black one touch, imagine it, how it looks in a tuxedo. So I think I'm going to ship that one off to the upgrade shop. We'll see. All right. That is it. Guys, this is a mail day. We had a lot of stuff this week. Uh, and finally the post office came through. So hopefully next week we got something. Uh, we will have an unboxing for SGC on Tuesday. So tune in for that. And that's it for this week, guys. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Uh, I hope you're all uh hope you all have a wonderful, great rest of your weekend. Thank you so much. Again, go show all the breakers I featured here today some love. Go subscribe to their channels, get involved in their content. Uh, you don't have to buy into a break, but come hang out with us in the chat. We have a wonderful time. Uh, again, not, not a bad break again this week, so super excited. That's it. So, guys, we will see you on Tuesday with a SGC blind reveal. Take care. Be safe out there. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And as always, guys, peace out.